Agar ada. Kembali yang raga nyanyi. Albaka. Albaka important. Yo ngat transfer lah tu. Ya transfer lah tu. Ha code ni je. Okay. Bosan. Sila edit sorong. Ha ha. Sorong. Eh sorry. Agar ada. Kembali yang bro. Albaka. Albaka. Barah Allah sahabis sorong karya. Ha. Barah ki jangan nunggu nombor karya. Ha jangan nunggu yang ada. Forest de Biro. Gambia tongkon na lombari ya bere. Ha. Bere mkwe na fo kato. Bari si kodo kino kato ni fo bolo mbila beko. 56 branches mwola soda Gambia ja. Ha? Ha. Gambia kono anin Gambia ibantala bankol. Mkwa kodo ki ya bere. Kodo sifa o sifa. Fo falindiro fo nyadi lafta meme na kodi topoto ni mkodi marawo. Jangan nombor one di nyonda. Anu fana nada anu ada enterprise soda ni. Golam ni tu ko. Domorol fana kol fana be fira ni dah di mana ni domorol ni fana betiat. Gambia dah ada ya lama pun fakin dol soda ni. Ha, eh, wamu ya. Ha, apel entah. Ni wakai ni mana lah fanya lang kendo lebi nak. Ya lebi bukan ni nak kol. Abar ka. Ha, ya lantel cosa no lah. Abar ka. data now even better enjoy 20% extra data on all gum cell data bundles buy 20 megabytes and get extra 4 megabytes buy 50 megabytes and get extra 10 megabytes buy 100 megabytes and get extra 20 megabytes any amount of gum cell data bundle you buy you will receive 20% extra data for free dial star 302 star data amount hash or go to your yai bottom menu and choose your data bundle now gum cell data is fast Last longer and very reliable. Gamsil Yai Borom. Alright. Honey, did you remind him that the last time he sent the money, it was not enough to buy all the provisions? Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell him. Are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions? Yes. yes. But don't you know about Baluo? 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 What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop. And you don't have to worry about the exchange rate. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money. For the first time in the history of the Gambia, Gambia Printing Publishing Corporation proudly introduces the Biliomatic Exercise Book Printing Machine. The machine has the capacity to print more than 20,000 books per hour. Yes, 20,000 books per hour. It also prints magazines, newspapers, calendars, flyers, normal books and all kinds of printed documents plus items at affordable prices. With the Bilomatic printing machine, GPPC can now render high quality and non-size restricted printing service supply across the sub-region. Rush now and partner with GPPC for all your public and private printing service needs. Print with us today and you'd be offered highly professional, reliable and efficient service delivery by our team of experts. The Gambia Printing and Publishing Corporation is here to meet all demands and is reliable at all times. For more info, contact us on 437-4493 or 437-4402. GPPC is Gambian and it's yours. Welcome back, 
This is the brunch live on Kerfatu. I'm Lavin Cham. Now, from the matters of uh, money, we now go to the environment. Because in October last year, the Gambia government announced that it has signed an accord to sell 10 hectares of land situated, of course, near the famous Monkey Park and the International Trapano Somiasi Centre in Bigelo. Well, according to the Gambia government, that was a proposal made by the American embassy and the government was reviewing the proposals and was ready to engage and negotiate with them for the sale of the said land. Environmental activists went to war. They said such a decision is not just unfair, but it's going to endanger not just the wildlife, but of course going to affect the country's tourism, which is uh, a good uh, bread earner for the country in terms of foreign exchange. Now, we will revisit the decision because as far as we're concerned, the last time the government said anything about it was to, through a press release from the Forestry Department, trying to clarify, but environmentalists are still not happy. So we revisit the topic, and in the studio, I brought in specialists in both environment and ecotourism to continue their take and analysis of the situation. To my far right is Farmer Adrame. He is a youth environmental activist and wildlife professional now living in the United States of America, but still very much involved in wildlife work there, I guess. Farmer, welcome to the Gambia in the first place. Thank you. Good. Um, he is executive director uh, of the uh, Wildlife Trust Gambia, I guess. And I also have in the studio uh, Momodu Ikeba. He is the president of the Gambia Environmental Agent, I mean, Environmental, um, the, Ax the, alliance. the Alliance, that is the activist um, uh, a group that have made, the, made their voice against the whole decision. We will also have him, his latest take on the issue. And next to me, of course, a very well known person also in terms of uh, environment and ecotourism. He is uh, Mr. Ahmed Manjang, involved with uh, the Eco Travel Gambia as well as a Gunjur uh, community based organization that also engages in environmental matters. Mr. Manjang, welcome. Thank you. Let me start with you, Farmer. When you back in your house in the United States, and of course being a professional in wildlife, when you first heard that the government has signed an accord to sell this 10 hectare of piece of land that you know very well, uh, to the American embassy for the construction of an embassy, a state-of-the-art embassy, they call it. What was your reaction? Thank you very much, Lamin. Uh, good to be here with my colleagues uh, from GAA and CITAC, mm -hmm. Mr. Manjan and Mr. Ba. Mm -hmm. I was really shocked when I uh, read the, um, the press release from the Minister of Justice mm -hmm. uh, mentioning that they have an MOU with the United States um, government. Uh, to build uh, the uh, state-of-the-art United States Embassy at the ITC, former ITC center. I was really shocked mm -hmm. because um, that area is so important for the Gambia mm -hmm. and it's very important for biodiversity conservation mm -hmm. because we have a lot of species of biodiversity mm -hmm. that are using that area. Mm -hmm. And then those so it's are not just monkeys. We, no, we there are monkeys live next door. Yeah, there are monkeys living next door, but we have variety of biodiversities that we don't even know the counts right now. Mm -hmm. So we have to do a thorough assessment to know actually the the, 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 the extent of biodiversity that's occupying that area. Mm -hmm. So knowing how important that area is, and knowing also next to the area of ITC is the Bijula Forest Park, which is one of the state forest parks mm -hmm. uh, administered by the Department of Forestry. And then the monkeys, like we are using right now, are using boat ecosystem. And then they've been living there for many years wow. using the, the Wallach ecosystem for, uh, for their livelihood, for their home range, for their territory. Mm -hmm. So they've been using that for a lot. So taking part of the ITC land for this project well, is going to be severely affected by diversity at the Bijula Forest Park. So I was really shocked. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it is shocking and then I hope uh, we can hear more information from the Ministry of Environment. Just like you said, we haven't heard much from them mm -hmm. uh, since that press release came out. But recently, the minister was at the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. I think the, the NAMS have actually tried to 
get more information from her. And but so far, it looks like uh, he is in agreement with um, the government of the Gambia to give the area because he, she said uh, she's, it's going to be good for uh, tourism, promoting tourism in the Gambia, which I, uh, I doubt is going to do that. It's going to affect our tourism instead. Ironically, that, that, that's exactly what the tourism uh, I mean, um, activists are saying he's going to achieve. That will go straight to Mr. Manjang. What do you make of uh, the minister's uh, argument in parliament that Imfak is going to uh, encourage or boost our tourism? To go and answer. Yeah. Well, I think uh, they should remind the minister that she was not there to defend tourism anyway. She's an environmental minister, even though they are all interlinked. Mm -hmm. uh, but her concern should be how tourism is impacting on the environment, not an environmental minister uh, uh, supporting tourism. How is that going to be good for all tourism? Mm -hmm. You know, this is the fourth destination. Gambia is not blessed with all, you know, these big white gyms. It's the monkeys and birds. Mm -hmm. And I think it's about 39 bird species that mm -hmm. have been recorded in this forest. That area alone. Yeah, that area alone. <coughs> And also, uh, this is the first stop for most tourists. If they come, they go to the monkey park. If they want to go see the um, uh, big games, they go to Senegal. The following day, they go to Senegal. Mm -hmm. So if you take that out from the, from 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 the equation, yeah. you know Senegal, you know from Gambia, they go to Senegal. Oh, why would they even come to Gambia in the yeah. first place? Oh, yeah. So this is going to kill our tourism. And tourism have been serving us for seventy years. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just recently we have some difficulty with the COVID. Yeah. So this is not helping our recovery uh, from you know what. Uh, COVID took it uh, uh, from, from us. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not sure what our government is thinking, to be honest with you. Americans um, embassy, uh, embassy, they invited us, I was there, okay. but they told us they consider 70 different locations. In, Seven, the, in the Gambia? In the Gambia. This is the 71 they settled in. So what? this is the 71st um, exactly. uh, site so they, they consider? Exactly. Why this place? Why not the other 70 locations? You know, but, it's, it's but not, did they give any much information as to the location? Of no, the, no, they just mentioned 70 locations, but that's too much. So our government have a lot of options. Why would they touch this? And also the most important, we are talking about monkeys um, and all order by, by diabetes. We are the custodian. We're supposed to look after them. But what we not even mention and what is not being highlighted is the impact this is going to have in the web, uh, urban, urban communities. Mm -hmm. Forests are the lungs of the earth. Okay. So you take this, or you rip this off, it's like ripping off the lungs of the urban centers. Mm. You know, we, he, we not develop enough tomato, the cooling effect these, these have on, you know, serocunda and all that. And also the, the, the carbon is, is, is um, yeah. absorbing from the, um, you know, from the atmosphere. For example, the, the, the barcote mm. uh, dump inside. Right. The effects could amplify many times if they- Without the forest. It, yeah, exactly. And also for research, why would you introduce environmental mm. science or ecology in the University of the Gambia when there are main research centers, the closest to that, naturally you are, you are taking that away. Uh, you know, it doesn't make sense. Interesting. Now, Mr. Ba, of course, we had you and your organization. You were the first to actually went up with arms against the, this entire decision. Let me ask you, what is the latest you had from the government when you engaged them and after your protest? Um, the latest we had from government physically, that was when we um, visited the permanent secretary at the Ministry of Environment. Mm -hmm. The minister herself and some of the upper echelons at the ministry were away on, on the COP in, in um, uh, Egypt. Iron Russia. Ironically, I, I, yeah, so, um, they were the, talking environment at a global level. Exactly. A very big irony for that matter. Um, this thing came up when the minister and his entourage were already at the COP, you know, discussing about our NDCs and about how Gambia is contributing towards fighting the effects of devastating effects of climate change. Um, when we met the permanent secretary, um, we didn't hear much information from him, but we did make our position very clear that, like Brother Ahmed Manjang said, it 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 puzzles our our minds. When the, when the U.S. embassy said they were given up to 71 sites to choose from, wow. and they are still adamant about choosing this particular place. So it means there are already options, even if they want to live around the coast. Mm. From Banjul to Katong is all coastal lines. So yes, they could yes. still have somewhere around without touching this ecosystem. Mm. So the information we have from the, the, the ministry was not enough because the, the permanent secretary was more like listening to us mm. 
than trying to respond to us. Ah, because what he said was he was just one person, the upper agent or some of them were not around, mm -hmm. but he will listen to what we say, our concerns, put them down and later communicate them to the ministry. But we didn't hear from them officially mm -hmm. since after that meeting. Only to hear the minister herself, like it was alluded to prior, I'm coming to the National Assembly trying to answer the questions. Mm -hmm. um, ironically, she is, she is the chairman of the committee. Even when the when the NAM ask mm -hmm. her mm -hmm. um, about um, if the place was sold to the Americans, to yeah. the American embassy, yeah. her response was, I think the Minister of Finance should, 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 answer, should, that should answer that question. But she is, she is the chairman to that particular committee. Yes. She should be able to furnish should, our should National Assembly able. members who are our duty bearers. Yes. I mean, so uh, we, we didn't we didn't just wake up and, and start this fight. Mm. We tried to be diplomatic as possible and to engage all stakeholders as possible. We, we met the National Assembly Select Committee on Environment mm. and we had a tour with them on, on different locations, not only on the Monkey Park, but even different mining locations and where we have these Chinese fish, fish mill factories. Yeah. Um, we met the American Embassy on, on three occasions. Mm. We met at the Embassy, we met the Ambassador and her team, and they sent a dual against team, they called them. They came from different parts of the world, from South Africa, Americans, and other people. Mm -hmm. from, they said it's a diverse people with expertise, with diverse expertise. Mm -hmm. But when they came, we also met with them at the at the Wallick Center. And it was evident they were seeing the monkeys around. They were even taking photos of the monkeys. I said this monkeys cohibited peacefully mm -hmm. with the Wallick Center here. The mm -hmm. Wallick Center was built inside the forest park. Yeah. It's not like there's a distinction mm. between the Forest Park and the Wallach Center. Okay. The Wallach Center is called Wallach Center, but the premises where the Wallach Center was built mm -hmm. is covers the Vigilo Forest Park, Reserved Forest Park. So people confuse these two things. Even the last time I went to the QTV, I was trying to make people understand these distinctions. Yeah. For instance, the, the, the Monkey Park is an informal name that is given to this place by the people. People. People of, of, of um, maybe. Kololi, Kololi, maybe Vigilo. Um, 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 Pijilo mm -hmm. and um, maybe Sanchez Basule Job and, oh. and other places. Mm -hmm. But there is no such thing called the Monkey Park in any document, national document. Yeah, I it, see. We have the Pijilo Forest Park, which was gazetted. Yeah. But the informal name of the Monkey Park, because there are too many monkeys, monkeys and people yeah. used to go and, and visit park. these monkeys, yeah. they informally started calling it the Monkey, monkey park. park. Okay. So there is no distinction between the Monkey Park but and the Wallach Center, the because Wallach. the Wallach Center is built right inside the, the Monkey Park. Mm -hmm. And like I said before, they peacefully In fact, even, the, even this Wallach thing is a new thing. It's just ITC. It's ITC, that's ITC, what, ITC, yeah. I mean, and, and if you look at um, what happened when, when this center was given to the OIC to construct, it mm. was Minister Diba, we protested. Mm. And that Minister was, Diba that came, the, that was the conference. Exactly. Mm. Then we, when Minister Diba came, he said, they brought a document from the government stating that the government have rescinded its decision mm. to, to, to bulldoze that particular part of the forest park to give it, you know, to construct the OIC. Mm. But six months later down the line, that we saw the Chinese construct. without even, you know, proper regards to the environment. Mm. Because if you look at 10 hectares, the, the the constructed OIC center would mm. have been constructed without even affecting some other indigenous trees, I like see. like the mahogany trees, okay. some of the baobab trees, and some of these trees mm. serve as food, mm -hmm. not only as a habitat or a niche for this for these ecosystems, mm. but also as a source of food. So when the Chinese came, if 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 they had regards for the environment, they could have still built the OIC center without mm. disturbing. But, but maybe they are going according to what the host is allocated. To exactly. Them. So right now our stance is very clear mm. that you know let the U.S. embassy mm. try and look at other options. Since they, know, have, since, since, since they have 70 options. orders. And let the government be very fair to Gambians and very fair to future generations. Ahmed Manjang have already said it here. Yeah. Why introducing a department in the minister, um, in, uh, at, the, at the University of the Gambia that is supposed to do research and other things? Yeah. And when the closest spot to them is you, already you are been, been, that. Been, been, been destroyed. Let's, so look at, no let's look at the counter arguments they, they, they came up, you know, um, in response to your to, to your to your position, they said uh, here um, a statement from the Ministry of the Forest Department of Forestry. They said, "Okay, following the recently announced acquisition of a proportion of land in Bijilo for a U.S. embassy complex and a subsequent press release from the Gambia Environmental Alliance, which is yours, mm -hmm. they said the Department of Forestry wishes to inform the public that the alliance's press release is entirely inaccurate and therefore misleading." It is imperative to remember that the Bigelow Forest Park has been gazetted since 1952 and the peripheral boundaries never have never changed as indicated in the wrong Google map presented by your organization. They said the Department of Forest is currently fencing the entire boundaries, that's 3.5 kilometers of the park, with solid structures to curb 
potential encroachment and to ensure the security and safety of visitors to the park. In fact, the boundaries of these two portions of land are physically separated by an access road of 4.5 meters serving as a fire break and for staff patrol of the park. The former ITC, now called Wallik, is on the eastern side of the access road towards the main Battle Harding Highway, while the Bijilo Forest Park is on the western side towards the sea front beach. The Bijilo National Park, commonly referred to as Monkey Park, is not part of the area marked in pink on the Gamba Environment Alliance's misleading Google map. It is clear from the attached satellite map that the Monkey Park is not affected even by a centimeter by the proposed development. Do you believe that? I, I don't believe a thing they said. Uh, well. I mean, they are just trying to mislead the people and trying to justify mm. their actions. Um, I, I would not go much to, 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 to disregard what they said because Gambians obviously know no. that they have already affected the Monkey Park. Monkey park. The Wallach Center, yeah. I'm trying to say this again, the Monkey Park was there before even the Wallach Center Before came. the ITC came. So the, when the ITC came, it was constructed mm -hmm. inside the, the Monkey Park. Yes. And there have never been any boundary. I see. This boundary, they just started constructing this boundary yeah. last year, yeah. and they started, they finished it this year because they already had the idea yeah, about, to, to, about giving yes, it to the Americans. About giving it to the Americans. So see. they started making that boundary, boundary, but there have never been any boundary yeah. between the two. And the reason for that yes. uh, is that the international trial for the forest center. It's a research, um, the effect of sensitive fly exactly. on Dama cattle. Dama cattle. Right. So this forest was endemic yes. with sensitive fly. Yes. So that's why it was built there, built so there. that to see to study to study the effects yes. on Dama cattle and other cattle. Yeah, uh, cattle I think species. the other one was in Solo. So there, there, is, there is no uh, 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 difference. But if you look at uh, these forests, they they shooting themselves in the in on the food <laughs> yes. forestry department. This their biggest honor. Exactly. I was told up to three million um, per that month. Per month. Per month. Yeah. Every season, so they use that money for 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 a lot of their things. So, but but, but the Americans had said also that when when they get the well, the government said that when mm. Americans buy it, mm. I mean, whatever should be done in terms of uh, revenue loss or something mm. or any other thing, that money would be used to ameliorate that. They said that. <laughs> what do you make of that? This is one of payment. And mm. also, yes, one, of one thing we have to think about is the um, the roaming range of these monkeys. They mm. have it. That's why they're on people's houses. Somebody wrote on my yeah, yeah, timeline yeah. recently, you should add the people of uh, Bijola whether they like this because the monkeys are on their houses. Absolutely. I said, no, it's your houses that are in monkeys. In the monkeys. Uh, park. You know, all those places, uh, they, they roam in now. It was part of the uh, their, their, their roaming range. But in Africa, we don't plan ahead. We just come and build, you know, and that's the problem. Farmer, we didn't hear, although you are not directly employed by the Gamba government, we didn't hear much from the wildlife. What is the department called? Parks, Parks and, and wildlife. wildlife. Parks and wildlife. Parks and wildlife. We Don't haven't heard much from them. Yes, because they are not being involved mm. in this process. Mm. Um, you know, um, so that's probably why you didn't hear from them. Mm. And because they are also on the Ministry of Environment. So ah, obviously they would not like to go against what the minister and the but, but naturally, they wouldn't like this. They idea. wouldn't like that idea, obviously, uh, because we have two important primates in that park, mm -hmm. and one of them is the red colobus monkey. Mm -hmm. They are very few worldwide. Mm -hmm. In fact, they are listed under the IUCN International Union mm -hmm. for the Conservation of Nature. Mm -hmm. They are listed on the IUCN threatened species. They're that endangered. Means, species, yeah, they're actually. endangered species. Yeah. So, so we have very few of them. Mm -hmm. According to the, the count which some researchers did, I think they say we have about 1,200 or 1,500 of them mm -hmm. are surviving in Gambia right now. Wow. wow. Yes, yeah, so they are so few. So imagine if we don't have red colobus anymore in this country. And the monkeys are very important because mm -hmm. they are very close to humans. Mm -hmm. You know, scientifically, you can use the red colobus monkeys to take vaccine, you know, whether they work on human beings, they use the primates to do that. And we have already seen, just like Ahmed said, they have already taken seven hectares of the park for the construction of the uh, OIC conference, conference center. center. Yeah. So if they take the Wallach Center too, now they are actually putting the park, in, you know, compressing the park. So this means the area will not be able to support the primate population in the park mm. because they will not be able to use the conference center. They are not used, going to use the Wallach Center. Mm. So this means now the population is going to go uh, grow yeah. and they might end up crossing all the road, going to restaurants and hotels like uh, people are seeing in their compounds and everything. And also the Gambia government is a signatory to various international conventions and agreement. Mm. 
And one of those is the United Nations Convention on Biological Diversity, yeah. which they had the COP meeting in Montreal, Canada, mm. some three weeks ago. Yeah. And one of the commitment the Gambia made is to conserve our biodiversity. Mm. So that the opportunity cost of losing this area yes. is far more than what they are going to get from the United States Embassy. And there's no way we can compensate in terms of monitoring well, the biodiversity we are using. Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 not, it's not feasible I mean, at once, all. Once, you, once you, it's, yeah. when they are extinct, they can, they can, nobody can absolutely. bring them. Absolutely. Nobody can bring them. Yeah, absolutely. And the German government is going to be not be happy about it because the Gambia Forestry German Project, yeah, they invested a lot on Bidula Forest Park to where it is now. Yeah. And in, also in terms of flora, we have a lot of um, tree species that are very rare in the country right now, yeah. especially the Brassus atiopum, which is the the, 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 the round palm leaf, mm. and also you have the Kaya senegaliensis, the yeah. yellow, yeah. and also you have the, the, the Kino. Leaves, for, for example, you know, when we yeah. are young, when we are making our backyards, we Absolutely. cut it now. Yeah. Now there's no so possible. the last time we were there with uh, Mr. Bar Inke, we seen the, the red colobus feeding it within the Wallach Center, mm. and some of the species they are feeding on is the Farah, the the yeah, the, the, yes. the 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 toningi species. Yes. Yeah. So if those trees are gone, you don't see them anywhere right now. now so it, it's uh, just it's one, very valid point, Mr. Maja. But let me come there. Oh. If if the government's rationale or justification is they want something along the coast, when we have a vast land of coast from here right down to Gunju, where there's where there is no where there are those in exist already yes. this kind of facility, mm -hmm. why would anybody go and destroy? Something went, and then and then you have two jering burfoot and all the way down and I, and where then, you can build a conference. I, I mentioned that to the Americans, but one farmer I mentioned something, you mm -hmm. know, something click like um, we are very close, we are very, very close. They, they are primates, mm -hmm. and also in the Gambia here, at least 90 percent of the population somewhere down the line use herbal medicine, yeah. And you can observe this one. I, I was mightily impressed because uh, it was, f uh, when I look at his video from the medical perspective, I mm. say, okay, he's feeding on fire. Mm. Therefore, human can t tolerate fire, mm. you know? And this has been recommended as uh, diabetes. Um, um, it, it, it can control uh, mm. blood pressure. Mm. So any plant you see them uh, feeding on mm. is clearly human can tolerate it. Well, so tolerate. when it comes to the um, herbal kind of medication, and this they munch it in, in, in large quantities. So it's a very, very recy uh, good recycling, which I'm also interested in, you know, the pharmacokinetics of these uh, 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 plants. So I was even joking, maybe uh, the the American discover one of the gold mines in this forest, <laughs> and they want to buy it you know because what? most of their are in 2019. America spent uh, 256 billion research into um, Harvard medicine, mm -hmm. and at the same time, England around uh, um, 2019 they spent over 400,000, 400 million yeah. um, uh, pounds just to build a facility in Liverpool, just research into herbal medication. Right. And now we are taking out. We have that. In what the about in five years down the line, they told us Farah is actually a cure of diabetes? And when we had already... When, when you have been sold it to the Americans. <laughs> that would have been... Yes. Yeah, yeah. And another concern mm. that mm. I wanted to make clear, mm. yeah. I, I would still try to reiterate is, yes. um, when the Americans are given this place, when we went to the Wallach Center, we saw, I told you earlier on, that we saw how the Wallach Center is peacefully cohabiting with these primates. Yeah. And, and Just say ITC. Exactly. I want ITC. everybody to get exactly. ITC. ITC. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Now, considering that this place, assuming that this place is already given to the Americans to use to construct an embassy, mm. I asked them these pertinent questions. Our concern is, how are you going to manage this, these primates that are already inside the ITC. Mm. They have been here with the, with the Wallach Center, with mm. the ITC mm. complex. No problem, yeah. And sometimes even you see them on top of the vehicles, the yeah. staff of the ITC. Yeah, yeah. So no one is disturbing them. They've yeah. peacefully cohabited there for over 50 years. Yeah. Now, if this place is given to the Americans, are you going to relocate them? They said, okay, they can, they can try to relocate them. And we had an expert among us mm. who works with WAPSA, that's the West African Bus Study Bastard. Association, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Jemme. Joba yeah, yeah. he told them that there is nowhere in the world where a successful relocation of these primates was done. It's not possible. Red Columbus, it's not possible. Because the interaction of the Red Columbus mm. is quite funny. Where they are, are like human beings. Where are you going to take Even if you, if you, if this is the place that they are used to, mm. if you relocate them to another place, they some of them can even die. They, they die. can commit suicide. They are shy mm. animals. Yeah. Yeah. You understand what I mean? Yeah. So if, if the Americans cannot give us any justification of how they want to, to, 
to control the premiers within them. Yeah. And we understand that Which they will have different. a lot of security alarms, a security sensors within in, the embassy. In fact, one so one, these premiers can jump and trigger security alarms. alarms. What ah. is going to happen to them? That's not in fact, they what? are already inside there, so there is no way that we can we can remove them within the ITC complex and say, okay, you stay only at the at the, at the vigil of Forest Park. There is no way that we could do that. We don't have the capacity. We don't have the means. We cannot do that. So, meaning the premiers that are already within the American Embassy complex, that is a current ITC complex, mm -hmm. are all going to be endangered. Absolutely, they are and, going to be very vulnerable. And what will come? To, what will happen now, Farmer, to the <laughs> to the ITC itself, the the the, the, the Nama cattle, whatever research that is going. To, what going? To, what, where are the cattle going to? And there aren't many cattle anyway. But where? Are the, where? Are, what's going to happen to them? There's no many cattle over there. I think right now, whatever ITC is using that complex for mm -hmm. is compatible with conservation. Oh, I see. So it doesn't disturb the primates, mm -hmm. and it doesn't disturb ITC, mm -hmm. and they have other offices there to uh, belonging to agriculture. Yes. I so there's a compatibility. Okay. I was working at the National Environment Agency when Jamie Force identified that area for the five-star hotel. Okay. And all of us at the NEA, we were not happy. Mm -hmm. We thought it was not a good idea. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why we should be happy now, mm -hmm. seeing the, the American embassy I'm there, sure now, right? you know, knowing that our biodiversity is at risk. Yeah. And we know that 70 to 60 to 70 percent of tourists that visit the country, mm -hmm. they come to see our nature. They are nature lovers. Mm -hmm. And like Hamid said, we have a lot of um, uh, students from university in the UK and America that comes to do their research in the Gambia on primate all in primates. Uh, they come to do uh, butterflies and they also do flora and other, you know, uh, reptiles. Yeah. You know, they do a lot of service in that park. So yeah. it is actually contributing to global research on some of these species that are not known mm -hmm. globally. Yeah. And then that is putting Gambia on a on a map in yes. terms of tourism. Yes. And then also in 1996, United Nations Environment Program yes. and the government of the Gambia did a study. Mm -hmm. And then this area is one of those ecological sensitive sites yes. that were identified. Yes. Ten ecological sensitive sites yes. that are identified along the coast. Exactly. You know, even in the Gambia. So why would we destroy those areas? Because um, we want to give it to um, United States Embassy or maybe it is going to be uh, benefit to tourism. It's not going to be benefit to tourism. Well, so, I, I brought you people because what we have in here was mostly from politicians. Mm -hmm. But you being professionals in those various areas, that's why I want people to share. Yes. Uh, you share your opinions with can people. I, can I clarify something? Yes, go ahead. Um, I, I, I saw on the press release from the Department of Parks and Wildlife yes. saying that the, the, the monkey park is not affected. Yes. And what is being affected in the monkey park is the visitor center. The visitor center. And uh, also, I have also had the Minister of Environment talked about that at the National Assembly. Assembly yes. That's an irony. The, the visitor center is inside the, the, the monkey park. Right. Exactly. If the visitor center is going to be affected, yeah. and still you are adamant and, and quite confident that you are not going to affect the monkey park. Now, in fact, what, is the, an irony. what, is, the I mean, it, what is the visiting about? Is it not about the it's monkey? It's about the monkey. So parks. when the monkeys so are visitors going... come, that's their first point of, of, of call. Yeah. Now, if you remove the the, 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 the visitor center and still want to no, fact, want Gambians to believe that you are not affecting any part of the monkey park. Which, when the visitor center itself is inside the monkey it's park, monkey, yeah. that's an irony. I think they are, they are just trying to fool Gambians. Let them just complain. Like the, um, the, the Americans, when they came, they told us outright that they needed this place. And they are doing everything humanly possible to make sure that they acquire that place. So and because that's what they want. But the government should also complain and tell Gambians, look, we are selling this place. We are affecting the monkey park. We have no regards for biodiversity. We have no re regards for any ecological sensitive site. And we are selling this just for money. And someone said this, um, it is only when when the last sand dunes disappear, mm -hmm. the last fish is caught, yeah. and the last three been fell, fell, that you will realize that you cannot eat money. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So they sell this for money, yeah. and yeah, you cannot eat money. Yeah, definitely. And that, that's that, what is happening. That's our sand dunes are disappearing. Our fish thing. resources are disappearing. disappearing. And recently, even our logs, all this um, now, logging system, I, I was coming in the Gambia, they're people, all taken to China. Now, what do we have to offer to the other to come? I, I was coming there because this has been the mainly debate between politicians. I mean, I mean, all political divide have added their voice to this issue, as well as the fish fish meal factories mm -hmm. that have caused a lot of environmental damage. The leader of the GMC, for example, my father, he, he just put it simply. He said, okay, can we even imagine the Gambia being given or even considering or imagining to have a place in the United States of America, like that vast area, for any purpose? Mm -hmm. 
He said, that's, that's impossible. Mm. This is part of us, and we should not, under no circumstance, should we give it up. You gentlemen, don't you think also the government is trying to play the diplomatic uh, card, you know, by appeasing the Americans to get these things for, for one thing or, the, or for what? For, yeah, for, um, is it for budget support or is it for, <laughs> for, for whatever support? Because he mentioned the last time when Jamme, or rather when anybody considered a five-star hotel, mm. Jamme wanted to do it, mm. people were not happy, he, 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 he bulged. And, and one thing you can be sure, the last person who will give it to the Americans is Jammer yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So probably the Americans feel that the cost is now clear with this new administration, yeah. they, can, they can get what they want. Yeah. Yeah, well, Poli I, politically, you think it's politically wise though? It or no, it's just no, a diplomatic... It's, it's, it's not, and I think it's about time um, President Baroni's government respect mm. uh, Gambians. Okay. Well, Americans are calling experts all over the world um, as in they do diligence thing. Yeah. That's not for us. That's for the Americans. Because yeah. if you're going to have approval for this kind of project, you have to bring tangible evidence, tangible. you know, that it wouldn't affect people. Yeah. So we have um, our laws here. Any, this, uh, any kind of um, um, uh, structure that's supposed to be built anywhere, much, much more this ecological sense, that is supposed to be a thorough environmental impact assessment. Yes. Was that done? before that decision was taken. Not so that, that in had. itself is illegal. Mm. So I call on all the environmental groups to come together and file an injunction against the government. Mm. And, you know, an injunction just for them to stay away from until mm. all due, di until due, due diligence delivery. from our side is done. done. And this government cannot also continue to play with our emotions. Mm. We are human beings. And every, now you cannot fool anybody. Mm. Everything is in the upper. In the upper. You know, we've seen the American. They invited. We went there. You know, they had a, a 15 minutes um, presentation, mm. you know, and we've seen you know, stuff in that, you know, that can seriously affect, you know, our tourism. Mm. Because, you know, where Americans go, they, they, they also go with them security um, yes. uh, threats. In fact, in fact, so this is in the set, um, middle of our, our tourism one, industry. One, one commentator said that the government themselves yeah. didn't know perhaps what the Americans are up to. Yeah. And when they go there, they will the first people they will spy on is the government themselves yeah, who gave them. Be, it could be a mini, <laughs> military land. base. Well, I mentioned that. As, <laughs> as, as outlandish as that may sound, <laughs> but then they, they always go with security powers and all, all sort of things there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Now, uh, Famara, once again, what do you think finally would should be the position of, of the government, you know, at this stage, because all what they said was they have signed an accord. Yes. Even though they are trying not for us to believe that no sale has been, you know, has taken place already. But I mean, by and large, many people believe that the government it's is hell-bent hell -bent on giving it right. to the Americans. Do you think at this stage, if it's not late, what should be the action to review this? Yes, um, the Americans are obliged by international law mm. to bring that due delegates team. Mm. Because when they try to occupy an area like this, mm people will question them in the future, what process have you taken? Yeah. And that's what they did their part, yeah. because the due delegate team is here to do their assessment, yeah. and they are going to report back to the ambassador and the Department of State yeah. to say this is our finding. And I'm glad that they made some um, environmentalists to express their concern that we are in total disagreement of this option. Yeah. So that, that also can reflect in their report. Mm. And if they want to know more, I mean, they can find out why the people of the Gambia are not happy about this. Mm. Now, coming to our government, I think our government also needs to be transparent to the citizens. Before they even sign the MOU, mm. there should be a full environmental impact assessment mm. conducted. Because the area they are planning to give out for an embassy, mm. even though it is not protected, but it is an area that is already established by Act of Parliament, to, to, to establish ITC, okay. but also there are biodiversity inside there, mm -hmm. which according to the Forest Act, even if you are cutting down a tree outside an area that is not protected, yeah. you need to follow that law. You have to take a permission. And taking permission in this area, we need a full environmental impact. How is it going to affect the biodiversity? How is it going to have the social impact, especially the communities around Bijolo Kirserin? Yeah. Because now in the wake of climate change, mm -hmm. we have seen natural disasters oh, yeah, occurring. Banjula, and this, this woodland is protecting the people of Bijolo and Kirserin yeah. when it comes to windstorm. Yeah. Because in the rainy season, yeah. there are a lot of wind direction coming okay. towards that end, yeah. which this forest is protected. The less trees we have, so if you the less trees you have, yeah. the more windstorm is coming to those communities. And you know how that our houses are built in the Gambia. Yeah. Some are still uh, sleeping under, yeah. you know, corrugated iron seats, yeah. and then their houses are not full 
constructed. constructed and this yeah. why when it comes to rainy season yeah. we are rescuing a lot of people because their houses collapse Collapsed. flood has been going on so we need to look in all to that mm. so i think the government of the gambia need to come out and tell us more about this mou what does it entail mm. we need to see the report we need to analyze it mm. but also we need to also have an environmental impact assessment yeah. because the area is adjacent to a state forest park mm. and it contains a high by diversity in that area, which we are not afford, we cannot afford to lose, yeah. because we need it for our future generation. Mm. And then the area is bringing a lot of revenue for the Gambia government. Mm. And then our kids need to know what is a red colobus monkey. And if we give this area slowly, we are killing that species. Mm. And then it's going to go extinct very soon. And then we have, we will have nothing to tell our younger generation what happened to those people because we cannot tell them we, we just exchange it for money because that's the only explanation right here. So whether the government is going to need that money for budgetary support or whatever they're going to and need it for one, one, one payment, one, yeah. one of payment. One of payment. Yeah. And so we, tomorrow you need money again when it's already got. And I understand Burfuri is one of those seventy In fact, sites. I was coming to, I was coming there. Uh, I, I wanted your perspective on all the forest lands, all from Burfuri right down to. So tank, do we have in Gwindio as well? Yeah, yeah. Forest reserves. Eh? Of course, we have. We, we, we have, okay, the, 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 how do you, what is the official name for it? The, uh, the so Banjo, I, Bigilo, uh, sorry, the Tanje Bad Reserve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, don't, I think you have another name, is it? Banjoli? Currently. Banjoli, was don't know, Bang, Bang, Banjoli Reserve. What is the, what is the, are, are they under threat? Because here and there you hear about uh, suggestions that, uh, oh, that place might be, might be used to build a school or house, uh, sorry, house in the state of Chile. What is the what what is the state of there? Are they all two on the threat? They're, they're on the thread as well because development is coming very fast. You know, I when I graduated from high school, I started my work there as, yes. an, uh, as a civil servant. Yeah. I started in current. It's because right. of those monkeys yes. that some of us had the opportunity to go study in Tanzania. Yeah, yes, right. We had the opportunity to be given by scholarship by the British Embassy yeah. to go and study in the UK. Exactly. It's all because yeah, of these red colobus monkeys. Yeah. So we have a duty to protect these species. Mm. And then the more population is growing yeah. and the more the absence of land use planning mm. in our coastal zone is also putting pressure on these natural areas. So now Bigelow coming all the way from We're Banjo. We're talking about Bigelow. Sure, yeah. Sure, it will be torn up for food. Exactly. Or, uh, or, 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 yeah. or in fact, no, even, uh, recently women were at at war with authorities at um, near the Tamala by, area, old, 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 area. Old, old, old cycle track. Yes. We we got to understand well, in that. Personal name again. Old. Old, old cycle, cycle track. track. Yeah. Okay. Old you have to explain where is that place. That is the. The uh, area Palma around Russia. Tamala, Tamala or Bigelow. Tamala, Palma, Palma, yeah. Palma Rima, that, you know, uh, wetlands. I remember the women, women were, uh, I've been complaining that that, that is an area they use. They, yes. They are farmers, yes. Mm -hmm. they are that they use for compensation. And the government is saying, well, 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 you always know that this was a tourism development yeah, area, so that, you need to go and pack and, it up. And yeah. that also is the first stop for bad watches. Re yes, really bad, bad watches. When they come yeah. first thing in the morning, that's where they go. That's like a tester for them. You know, that's what when they are uh, appetites, appetites and we yeah. want to go inside and see more because it's teeming with with with, with um, all kind uh, species of, of bats. So you take that out, you're killing the tourism. And well. ironically, they said they're building a hotel there. And yeah, a hotel, I mean. hotel is meant to get guests, yeah, exactly. guests who are interested in other products such yeah. as bird watching. Exactly. If you kill the bird watching place, do you expect to get guests to go to that hotel? Now, no. Yeah. Hotels. And, and also environmentally, that's where all the waters coming from the bed, you know, the keresins okay. and all that empty into and into mm -hmm. the water. Yeah. So you block that block water part. The water was coming out of this region. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> and I understand GT Ball sold the area just recently. I just got that yeah, information well, yesterday. I mean, they made it clear yeah. that the woman, you know, in fact, the investor is mm -hmm. the one who considered giving the woman some money, 10000 each. Right. That the woman should have known that the place was always going to be a tourism development area. Mm -hmm. But the logic, what we are finding is that if you kill a tourism product, as you are saying, yeah. bad watch inside. Yeah. And ironically, you want to build a tourist, a hotel there. Who's going to sleep in the hotel when they don't have anything to... Absolutely. To look for. Yeah. Absolutely. Just help us here out, finally, Mr. Ba. Um, what do you think should be done? If this is not too late a decision, what do you think the government should do reversing it? The government should just rescind that decision. Mm. Give the and look at the other sites. What, one among, among, the 70. among all the other 70 <laughs> sites. That is if any of all those 70 sites is not also an other ecologically sensitive place. 
But well, that's a no-go area I'm, for I'm, us. I'm, I'm, I'm just that's a no, we're not only fighting for the people who are going back. With, 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 with how tiny our population is, we have 70 options. Probably they, that could have included Mansa Congo or Mansa <laughs> Congo. <Yes. laughs> the Americans can get there. Right. Yes, yes okay. obviously. I, they didn't disclose it, but that would be in different regions. Like that definitely that would not only be in the, in the be, greater yeah. area. No. Yeah. There are 70 sites. Probably if they've got to Mansa Congo, they would have even been more welcome. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> like he said, I think the government should be more transparent, mm -hmm. not only to the parliamentarians who are our duty bearers, but also to the citizenry. Yeah. I mean, because it is us that are going to be affected. I mean, if there are floods, it's the citizens that are affected. Most, in most cases, the upper age laws in government are not affected because yeah. they can construct better houses. Right. They have other options. Yeah. If there is a lack of food, they can still feed themselves. Yeah. So, But if a windstorm comes, we can, exactly. we can check all yeah. the way They should out. be transparent, just like the Americans are. They, when the Americans did they displaced, they said it. When, yes. we, when they, are, they said it, that we still need displaced. That's why Ahmed said they brought their do delegates team mm -hmm. yeah. who are not supposed to, to, to give their information to the Gambia. They, they are due ah, delegates team. Oh, they, they, they can share their information yeah. anyway. But, 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 the but they are sent by them. Right. I, ho I hope they've got with the right impression, the right, right impression of, the of the opinion of the Gambian people. Very well, unless yeah. if it is distorted. Yeah. Ah, because okay. all the meetings that we had with them, mm -hmm. one thing stands out. Mm -hmm. That this place is a no-go area. Yeah. This place, we want it to remain on torch. Yeah. Yeah. And since there are other options available, you can also look for other sites. And that remains. That is even amplified today than ever before. So and it's not only considered in the Bidjan Forest Park. Any other ecologically sensitive site, any other site that has something to do with biodiversity, with the protection of our flora and fauna, mm -hmm. we will do this. We did this with the OIC. And I see no reason why we, we, we protested against the OIC that has so enormous benefits, including the road that is currently under construction. Under construction. But that doesn't mean we never needed the road. Actually. That doesn't mean we never needed the hotels and mm. the job yeah. opportunities that it comes with. Yeah. But that is, you have to have a value. A value. Mm -hmm. And that is what you stand for. I mean, that's Someone said I if you stand for nothing, then you fall for anything. The common, the, 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 I mean, the common criticism by government, of, or from government officials, uh, against you environmentalists is that where you speak as if you don't need it, development. Right. Um, why are you fighting the rights of animals when people are needing our houses? And all? <laughs> yeah, development is not against... We need, we need development, but we need sustainable development. Exactly. Yeah. There is something we call sustainable development. Mm -hmm. I mean, skyscrapers everywhere when the prices of foods are high doesn't benefit the citizens. Absolutely. These are just flashy things that people see. Yeah. You're having too many hotels around and the citizens they cannot even afford to put food on the table. And Who are going to use those hotels? And even those so hotels so it, it, it has well, no uh, effect. It has no trickling effects on the citizens. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, we need development, but we need sustainable development and we need partners like we have been in partnership i told you we are partnering with the united states mm -hmm. they are supporting the gea in, yeah. different ways. in different ways when we were launching the gea the ambassador came or the public diplomacy affairs officer came yeah. it was the british high commission that even funded yeah. the launch event you know they were very crucial in the formation of of, so of, they still hope of the gea have, so we are still partners yeah. but we disagreed on this particular side yeah. and that is it that is right. partnership partnership based on development Absolutely. based on so mutual respect mm -hmm. you respect my my point of view and yeah. my stance i also respect your point of view and stance we are not against the americans having an embassy here ah, they would have an embassy not. someone suggested even the old, old police line in banjul <laughs> and it can be used in it can be used mm -hmm. ah, no, as nobody... far as it has no effects on on the flora and oh, fauna well, the americans we don't know, mind. lives in banjul now. we don't <laughs> mind we are partners we are partners in development yeah, we cool. still partnering with them ah, wait, wait. and in a lot of times they've given us grants mm. to, to to plant trees yeah. mangroves perhaps especially perhaps my they, organization for instance Got the police line it's a good idea they probably can build a better police uh, this, accommodation that was the option since they said if <laughs> they take the water center they will wow. compensate <laughs> As someone wrote to the, me i think he's, 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 he's a banjulian <laughs> it's either momodundau or, or someone else but yes. he lives in sweden yeah he, he texted me and said mr Barr, i think you could give the police line exactly. and probably they could build another police line where for the people for when, a when there is emergency you don't need to go and look for the police officers in their houses <laughs> so you will know where to find them yeah. <laughs> Uh, Momoru Bah, President of the Gambia Environmental Alliance, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. thank you very much for your uh, contribution. Ahmed Manya, finally? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, I want Gambians, uh, especially those in authority, mm -hmm. uh, to see this world, not to see this world as if we inherited it from our parents, but yeah. we should see it as we borrow it from our okay. kids. Yeah. And if you borrow something, you have you to have return to it in a better office. condition, if yeah. nothing less. Yeah. And also, let the government think about the peanut sellers. 
you know, around um, the monkey park, the fruit mm. pressers, the fruit sellers. Mm. Would the American al allow that 25 hectares mm. or acres, whatever, uh, premises for, the, for the peanut sellers to, 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 to sell it? Mm. And we know Americans also, anywhere they go, they go with security Absolutely. concerns and issues. Oh, yes. If there is an attack in somewhere, um, against American um, facility, will mm. they not close our entire beach Absolutely. for security reasons? Absolutely. And in the map I saw, they present to us, there is a road called American Control Roads. Yeah. That means they will decide we come and walk on that road to go to the beach <laughs> in our own country. So you, you you know? we, we are succeeding some part of our sovereignty. Yeah, so let's, let's government uh, hear the, 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 the voices. Tell them heed to the voices of desperations. Gambians know what is going around the world. They cannot just take, continue to take us for granted. Let yeah. them listen. Let them engage. Yeah. You know, people have concerns and it's not just empty concerns if with reasons you know all thank right you. Farmer, finally thank you uh, we have a lot of experts in the field of environment i don't yeah. know why they are so quiet that uh, they cannot advise the minister accordingly mm. because this is about government this yeah. is about um you know the gambian people mm. what interests our com our country i think experts should know very well that Ministers should be advised. It doesn't mean that if you go against ministers, you, you, you know, yeah, um, yeah. line of thinking, it yeah. means that you don't like your job or you or, don't or like you the minister. Yeah. But you are actually looking at the bigger picture, yeah. which is the, the government of the Gambia. Right. So right. we have to, we are, we are appealing to the government of the Gambia, mm. you know, to listen to the, what the Gambian people have to say, especially yeah. those genuine who are really, you know, there to serve the interests of the community. I cannot chip quiet knowing that the monkeys paid for my education mm. and whatever I get mm. is what, and the monkeys are being disturbed and our environment being destroyed. Mm. So we have to, we have genuine people, let them come out and talk. And also the level of understanding on environmental issues in Gambia is very low, yeah. even at the decision making level. level yeah. The president of the Gambia is the chairman of the Environmental Management Council. Wow. That council has been dormant for nearly 10 years or more. Wow. We need to revive that council. Because a situation like this, mm. it should have been decided at that level, at that where the president sit with the five, we tell them the big five. Yeah. The big five is foreign ministry, yeah. finance ministry, mm. local government and land, environment, and I forgot the fifth one, agriculture. They the ones supposed to review this plan and that you know U.S. embassy is trying to do. Exactly. But right now the minister is embarking on the experts, and yeah. we don't even know who are those experts. experts. Because if you ask the wildlife. They are not part of They're that expert committee. Experts, yeah. So who are the experts? The finance ministry? Ah, finance yeah. cannot decide for environment. Decide. Yeah. And this is exactly what we've seen when the conference center was being built. Yeah. Environment was was left behind, was sidelined. Side 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 I will only see lands and uh, so lands and local government and land mm. and tourism what taking a lead in environmental, environmental issues. Matters. So the Minister of Environment need to come up. Okay. We expect them after the press release mm. to come out and also do a press conference okay. and tell us more detailed information about this MOU yeah. and then also justify their point that it is not going to affect biodiversity. Then people can ask. We can ask questions. We know the detailed information. Then yeah. we can believe their side of the story. Exactly. But if the environment is keeping quiet and they don't tell us, mm. and then we'll be pointing fingers at them, we'll knock at their doors until the time they come, and it might be too late because yeah. those sitting in the, those taking the front seat don't know anything yeah. about yeah. environmental yeah. issues. Absolutely. So we are appealing to U.S. Embassy to look at the other sites yeah. because they are very, um, the U.S. is very key when it comes to fight against um, climate, change, climate change, and they are very important when it comes to biodiversity conservation. So we are telling the U.S. Embassy, the Gambia's biodiversity is at risk okay. when they decide to take that area. So they can consider, if the Gambia government is not listening to us, we can, they can consider their global commitment, commitment on the fight against climate change and environmental protection. Pamela Drame, Ahmed Manjang, and Muruba, thank you very much, all of you, for being on the brunch. Don't forget, though, later this evening, you will have a taste of a live football match as Walidan meets Hawks champions in the Super Cup of the Gambia National First Division League. Until then, I'm Lavin Cham. We should have a great weekend.
Finance is becoming an increasingly popular mechanism for poverty alleviation, especially for developing countries around the world. This microfinance service adheres to the principles of Islam as a form of social responsibility. Yona Islamic Microfinance is the Islamic microfinance of choice in the Gambia, trustworthy and reliable. At Yona Islamic Microfinance, we provide savings products, current accounts, financing products in conformity with Islam. In addition, Yona Islamic Microfinance also offers local and international remittances, takaful fund, management of zakat, management of awqaf, trading and investment, and building of strategic partnerships to bring financial services to the doorstep of the poor with donor projects, madrasas, youth organizations, women groups, and farmer organizations. Make a choice with Yona Islamic Microfinance today. For more information on Yona Islamic Microfinance, call 377-2151 or 9832-151 or visit Yona Head Office at Tipa Garage, Bakote or visit any Yona branch located countrywide near you. All over town, Lawa. Home again. This is home away from home. Lipolo Hamnerek, then in new holidays. Namonko Gambia fee. Manan like Rek Bismillah. I had can excellent. Mungini. Wedding. Is I you chat it? You can see the Nekal Linti to Diggy Manjai. You can on the Manjai Koto Highway. To Borilam, at last day. Well, you ride next to the Atlas. Do you want to introduce Bagasi? Because Bagasi is a man. Well, Kirpatu definitely is a man. You can see the Bienal. 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 Ngin ko tamo de tere ring ring manila aha ngin malubuga wow dolin buga rek new indian lenko muy kirkland water muy moss apple juice ah muy apple eve lumu di nek rek hang kay so charles mo na yon tohan tony tu tere mo mo di mo one guy rek linyan ti amal pine solong gok coffee maiden gok wow um citronella candles. Would you like being outdoors? Stroke GBT, they enjoy the outdoors. In the Nigerian, different versions of citronella candles. New ini, nechet na gubugade. Wow, would you son again to muntai galawa de? Ahang ken new ini, Domino sugar. Different kinds of coffee. My favorite in the entire store is this sardine. Sardine B. Don't go like it to do hang sardine. I've had two, two already, and enough. Well, I'm going to get a bit of tea. Wow. Do you want to smell fave? 
the whole store. Mm -hmm. Seasonings. Lip rolling so want seasoning in the million ko. My um lemon pepper bean, black pepper, the Caribbean jerk seasoning. So we get this jerk seasoning. We we jerk chicken, we jerk lamb. This is the one and only seasoning to hamerik. Mom gen mom gen sahla for for that jerk. Different types of oil. This is my new oil now. Avocado oil. Avocado oil lu mo def. Cholesterol nyari fasong la. LDL amna, HDL amna. So avocado oil lu mo def moy da fa yok cholesterol bu bax bi. Ko defé mu wagni cholesterol bu bon bi. Wow, I'm a health fanatic. Ahang tay lepp lu ma lek rek dama ko bëgg di bay health. Si ce que nayé nak na ngeen taxé nak bi bu lañ ma simé. Hmm hmm. Xam na di ngeen né fi nek ni nak mu ngi ci liko gëna neex lolu moy lan moy jaay affaire yi lek. B new new news news point. News point da fa nek over the counter garab bo xamné family bu nek war nañ ko mëna am ci seen kër. Xalé yi buñ daano brousse tuti rek gañu. Ko nga am ko xamné dafa am dafa diabetic nek sa kër. This is the must have. Dang ko ci def rek mu daal di rek wër king. Wow. News news point ngo. Lepo lo xamné rek most of the things I use at home I try to uh bring for you guys in town. Wow. Tiki ngok, tiki torch. You know, bi mun do ko def rek ci sa balcony ba ci lawn bi da fa da xay yoy. Wow. Mun tay ga tuba mo nek ni. Then tiki refill be nek ni. Yi ni uh citronella oil slide. Yi those are different versions of tiki ga xamne yoy mun do ko def rek at the deck, the balcony outdoors. You want to chill out. Ahan kan yoy non la cereals yi ni tamit these are all healthy cereals. B is my favorite organic la mom tamit xamna di ngay digene bint bi mel ñoo organic wa cereal bo xamne la dafa am pumpkin seeds at flax seeds at granola mo ngi ni def am nañ different versions we have that one and we have that one as well um apple juice xale yang fi well juice xale la mu na wax bi apple eve it reminds me of back in the days moy bi bi suma xale yi gene nek ndaw you know i used to love these juices e buñu fek si capricorn et mon rex c'est cool it pour de l'in indil apple eve do fale nak indil lañ tamit honest honest for organic kids wow so no no la am bu de nak yangi am sa office and then the buga rek covid covid affaire bangi ni hand sanitizer in a super super duper size a hang kay mo ngi ni de xam ngeen nak luma def rek luma ko chof dama ko def ba mox mo ngi ni hand sanitizer ba ngi ni a big big size um na malo ya ngi ni si sekunda yi ana ngeen excellent different types of rice are all here mm -hmm. so we just setting up ñu ngi just set up ñu ngi yoko mo stuff as a matter of fact um so new shipment ba ngi wara exit hey bo but na wara am adult diapers you know the dispense um ak yeneen ak yeneen ak yeneen so ñu ngi right here on manjai highway Sorry, wun ak Atlas. Atlas we used to be Elton, legi Atlas lah. Nungi Jakarlo ak Doctor Slab. Wow. So I think those are very very good landmarks. So nah Atlas bin hari uta am, nah nah hari uta ham at all. And most importantly, dengan am Space Boat Park. So nyu all you gotta do is park nice and neat outside. Lo jinde nyu duki duki kendi lakobeti sabir moto. Thank you.